Hello and welcome back to the final part, thank Christ, of the uh, Sonic CD playthrough. We are now joined by the one and only Apple from Command and Commentary. Hooray! I hate this fucking game. Uh, what are we playing? We're playing Sonic. That we're playing Sonic CD the Hedgehog, as it is called on the title screen. That's that. I don't know what's going on in front of me. I've never played it. I have been following. Uh, none of this looks fun. <laughs> <laughs> you learn incredibly quickly. Sky, say something about this crappy level. It is a level based on Scrap Brain Zone. So, so glad you're here. So glad you with all your retro knowledge. Uh, that's so good, Sky. Well done. Ka kind of like the um, 3D Blast playthrough at this point. We just don't care anymore. <laughs> we literally could not give a fuck. I mean, look at this. Like, I don't, I don't understand if there's a theme or. It, 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 imagine Scrap Brain Zone, but just with much, much worse level design. Oh, level's done, I guess. Yeah, well, like to to be fair, most of the classics, with the exception, with the exception of maybe three and K, have pretty short levels. You know, like it's not. These, these Sonic classics aren't exactly, you know, long games to be. You know? Yeah, I don't know, this just looks... Something about it is so... Uh. Watch, now, I think, Sky, you, you was telling me earlier that these, these, are, these are just dicks to get onto, aren't they? Yeah, I don't know what was going on. It just would not cooperate with me. So is that is that is that um, prevalent in the original, or was that is that a uh, cock-up in the um, remake? To be honest, I'm not sure because I don't think I've ever had that happen. So you're saying that taxman kind of cocked up there? Sure, put words in my mouth. <laughs> Go ahead. Well, just, if, if, if it wasn't there in the original, then it has to have been put in the remake. I don't know if it was in the original. I told you, I Whoa. haven't had it happen to me before. That's, that's what they all say, Sky. Yeah, okay, it's never happened to you before. Yeah, sure, whatever. Shut up. Check out these pro speed running skills. You cheating bastard. It's crazy. <laughs> I did. I did the same thing to unlock. Um, I think to unlock level select, you have to complete the game in like under 25 minutes. And I, I, I think in Quartz Quadrant, like Act One, I do. I did something similar to that, and it shaved off like three minutes of my time. It was awesome. Yeah, you can beat Quartz Quadrant One in like 20 seconds. Yeah, I love that. I love that level. It's awesome. So short, it's amazing. Now there's um the the kind of uh, short ray which we're about to see in in a minute. There's. <laughs> Fans of, of the UK series Sonic the Comic, the um, Sonic CD was adapted in a um, five-part story called the Sonic Terminator. And at the end of part four, just as he's about to be killed by metal, a short Sonic comes in and saves the day. It has my favorite line of dialogue ever uttered in anything related to Sonic the Hedgehog. Short Sonic comes up and goes, I'm you from the future. And I guess, uh, classic for lack of a better word, just goes, so what, in the future I turn into a midget. <laughs> It's like my favorite line of dialogue of all time. I fucking love that. I've never read Sonic the comic. You should. It's good, man. It's, it's for my money. The early stuff. It's a lot closer to the games were than Archie was. Obviously not now because now they got you know like the people with actual talent writing the stories. But but back in you know compared to Archie of its time, for my money, it's vastly superior. I want to stop all this now to just point out how adorable Sonic is right now. I yes. know. <laughs> so I'll make a plushie of that. I'd want that. Like, I'd even, like, be, like, an anime nerd, like, have it on my waist, like, as a little belt <laughs> clip. You know, you know what I'm talking about, those, yeah. like, anime guys always yeah. something on their belt for whatever reason. What are they, what, what are they called, though? Isn't there, isn't there, like, a word for that when things are, like, really small? That anime. was bullshit! <laughs> 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 no, I say, my only, my only problem with, with Tiny Sonic is the fact that they didn't give him a specific sprite for when he's, when he's on a spring. He just has his like normal running animation, the scroll yeah. upwards, which like it's only a small thing. I can kind of see why they didn't make a bunch of sprites for like a section this short, but you know, I kind of wish they had a. Oh, Skyler! This guy. So, uh, this guy. <laughs> Skyler! For that moment, I forgot that the super peel out was a thing. <laughs> <laughs> but you love this game so much, how you can forget anything from the oh so forgettable game. <laughs> First off, fuck you. Second and second all, I thought, oh hey, I'll just look up, just like this, and just cheese the game. But 
Sky, you're winning this argument just like how no one agrees with 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 N Tom that like the American soundtrack is, is the best, with the exception of Clement, your new best friend. <laughs> no one re no one we've had on really liked this game. That's okay, it's a very polarizing game. I know a lot of people don't like it. But on the other hand, there are a lot of people who do like it. Even though I don't necessarily like it, it is without question a cult classic. I don't, no one can take that away from it. I just, for me, I think that my problem with it is that I, I only played it after so many years of hearing nothing but hype for it, you know? And so, like, it's kind of like nothing could read, nothing could have lived up to, like, I was just expecting, like, the greatest Sonic game of all time, blah, 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 blah. You know, but I didn't. But again, I, I, have, I have said this in, in the past, and I actually found myself playing it this morning and not actually hating it. Ta Taxman's poor is makes this game bearable you know <laughs> now we are about to come up to the final boss I would say without question the most pathetically pathetic final boss in any Sonic game well I'd probably put it above final zone but I, yeah, I wouldn't that great. at least final zone for me at least final zone like it, it it's Final Zone for me has, has a greater sense of tension and feels more threatening than just Eggman with a big fan on his ass. You know, it's just, it's not, the actual design, it's not a very threatening Final Boss, you know, like I wouldn't see this and get, oh shit, oh shit, I'm gonna die. By the way, those fireflies are not that difficult in the original version. That's bullshit. So, uh, Steven, what are your thoughts on this Final Boss that you clearly are paying attention to? I don't care. <laughs> <laughs> This game is so boring. I'd rather be talking about 3D Blast. Which we, we probably will be doing again soon. Maybe, possibly, on another commentary. Again? Maybe. Oh, please. <laughs> yeah. We may, you heard it here first, we may tackle the Saturn version. Because, was fuck it, why not? Why not? <laughs> the superior version. Wait, just look at this little bit. I, I, Scott, I thought, what are you telling me? Wasn't something like the, the animation is improved for this boss fight now over the, the original? Yeah, for those blades or whatever. In the original, they were just a few sprites, but now they actually rotate pretty smoothly. So that's a good thing about this boss. Well, it's it's a it's a uh, animation improvement, but I still think this is a terrible final boss. Oh, yeah, it's, it's not a great boss at all. Oh, no. Careful for that slow-moving piece, Sonic. <laughs> <laughs> You have to wonder what they would have done for Final Fever, though, which was their original plan for the final level, if they kept that in the game. I'll be honest, based on how poor the rest of the um, final boss, the um, bosses were, I, I don't think it would have been good. <laughs> Fair enough. And Amy, just where the fuck was Amy? She was just standing slightly off screen. <laughs> oh, okay. He's got all my pieces. One last tactic, better pogo towards him. <laughs> now, problems I have with with what we're seeing now is that one I, th I think we mentioned it earlier but um for the for the remake taxman or whoever was in charge zoomed in on the original video files to make them widescreen which means we're losing you know we're, we're watching a cropped image but also for some reason the ending videos are slowed down where they look horrible and i believe oh. I, be I, I believe it was slowed down to match the speed it was played on the, on the in the original credit sky is that correct um probably i think it might also attribute to the fact that there's more people to, uh, people to credit now, so that could be a reason. Could be a reason, but I, uh, I just don't know why they would they would purposely slow it down to make it look odd. You know, like it doesn't yeah. look natural in any way. Steven, what do you think? Is it just a frame rate thing? It's basically that they they've slowed it down to make it a lot slower. I'll be honest with you, I'm not even watching the video. <laughs> <laughs> I'm playing Psychonauts. <laughs> My YouTube video stopped working, and I kind of, <laughs> I kind of took off on that too. I didn't want to say that. I was like, "Yes, we got story." I was like, "Who the fuck am I?" And tell me that. Start over. See, Steven, Steven hasn't watched a single actual video part this entire playthrough. That's pretty. Yeah, that's, that's true. He's just been watching Scooby Doo and touching himself. Yeah. Is that a crime? Fight me IRL. <laughs> <laughs> Is that a crime? Do it, you won't. No, I'll say, kind of like the intro, the animation on, on the ending is so good, it makes the game look like so much fun. Cause I, I saw these intros, I, I, I saw this on Sonic Jam years before I ever played the game. So I was like, you can't do any of this shit in the actual game. You can even do any of that shit in the, like, the games now. <laughs> no, but like, it's just like, it's just the stuff, it's just like, like, it looks like he's having fun. <laughs> when I play the game, I'd have no fun. 
you know? What? Where? Where's the anime cutscene of all the springs he bumps into at one point? <laughs> <laughs> you know, it's funny you mention that because one of the cutscenes looks like one of the bonus stages from Knuckles Chaotix. That could have been an inspiration. Oh really? But wasn't I read something? Wasn't it like like a dumped level that, that they never that wasn't in in the game, but uh, was used as part of the animation? Uh yeah, the one where Sonic was running along those collapsing floors with that pincer badnik or whatever. Yes. They were going to have that in the second slot for the level R2. But is that what you named all the videos like R2, R3? For a second, I downloaded one and three, and I was like, oh fuck, I missed two. And then I realized, no, you just named them in a incredibly stupid manner. Hey, it was fun. <laughs> for you, maybe. <laughs> Now one, one, one other thing, if you go and watch the, the um, cutscenes on the ending cutscene rather on say Sonic Jam or, or the Sonic Jam because that's the one I use the um, Japanese music, the fact that they've slowed it down it actually desyncs it because the um, the original Jap version uh, is at least on Sonic Jam, it's actually synced with the music like it fits the, the melody of Cosmic Eternity far better than this does, which you know is another reason why I'm like. And now we have it. We are. We are. You know, you know what's odd? Is that in, in the bad ending, you see Sonic basically murder Eggman with a rock. You don't see it in this yeah. version. Yeah. You know, like, isn't that a bit weird? Like, surely, I mean, I, I think the implication is in the bad ending, Eggman is, is escaping holding a, a time stone because he has something really bright and shiny in his hand. <laughs> That's so cheesy. You're too cool. <laughs> <laughs> what is this true romance? But yeah, but it's like, you see like Eggman like escape with like this like shiny thing, which again, Sky, is, is that meant to be one one of the time stones? You think? I'd assume so. But then again, look at how big they are compared to Sonic in the special stage. I know it's weird, but I I would much rather, even if it's technically the bad end, I would much rather would have seen Eggman get blown up with a rock, and then a giant Eggman shaped cloud appears. Well, sorry, maybe I'll put that on the end of this video. Hey, I don't understand. Eggman, on multiple occasions, tries to get all the Chaos Emeralds, but not once has he tried to go back and get the Time Stones. Well, because Little Planet only appears, like, once every, like, a year or something like that. Oh, okay. And there's also this thing called still being interested in the topic. And, uh... <laughs> Which is the plot of Sonic 4 Episode 2, except, <laughs> except there's no Time Stones, so I'm um, fuck you. Yeah, what the fuck. So uh, this brings us to the end of the uh, Sonic CD playthrough. I want to thank all of our guests, and if I can remember who we had in each order, we had Entom64, Donny or SSF1991, your username's still fucking stupid. Then we had uh, Great Clement, then we had <laughs> Goodbye1800, which is an even stupider username, good job on that. Then we had... Who, who, who do we have after that? Uh, Miss DBZ babe. <laughs> Miss DBZ babe. And then we've ended it with with Apple. Yo. Azaz, Command and Commentary come back. 8 8 2013. Look for it. <laughs> Apple, you've been, you've been teasing that for years now. No no one cares. <laughs> Shut up and sit down. <laughs> they care. So, uh, <laughs> so I want to thank you for wasting your time watching in this ungodly bad playthrough of Sonic CD. And join us again soon. For Sonic 3D Blast, take a sad edition because fuck you, that's why. Give us more money. That's good enough. Fuck it. <laughs>